Pinnacle Fine Arts in association with the Kanza Gallery and the Latino Art Project present the Adoration of St. Sebastian, an art exhibit showcasing the art of various artists using various mediums with one common theme. In the centuries since his death, no saint or martyr has been portrayed in a wider variety of ways, many controversial than Sebastian. Many groups have adopted Sebastian as their patron saint, including athletes, soldiers, the plague-stricken, and the LGBT community. Sigrid Lorfing is an artist and educator residing in Russellville, Arkansas. She graduated with a bachelor's degree in art education from Arkansas Tech University. Lorfing's work has been featured in jury competitions throughout Arkansas. Professionally, Lorfing teaches art at the middle school and junior high levels for the Pottsville School District in Arkansas and spends her time creating artwork in her home studio. Landon Bates is a painter and printmaker based in Northeast Arkansas in the Jonesboro area. He primarily works with oils and charcoal, but frequently uses collage, watercolor, and ceramics as well. St. Sebastian, shown here, is one of five paintings in his series, Saints and Martyrs. Melissa Wilkinson received her Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Painting from Western Illinois University in 2002. She then went on to receive her Master's of Fine Arts in Painting from Southern Illinois University in 2006. Her work has been featured in wide-ranging publications throughout the country. She has shown in various galleries nationally and internationally, including South Korea and India, and has won numerous awards throughout her career. Wilkinson serves as Associate Professor of Art and Painting at Arkansas State University. She currently lives in Memphis, Tennessee. Jennifer Smay is an American artist from Riverside, California. Primarily self-taught using any materials available, Young Smay reproduced works and images found in library books, medical texts, and magazines. During early adulthood, she began creating original pieces from imagination while gradually developing an interest in figure drawing from life. Today, Smay prefers working from life and rarely attends open life drawing sessions in the greater Northwest Arkansas area and wherever she travels. Smay's works are typically figurative pieces in graphite, charcoal, or egg tempera. Outside of being a published comic artist, journalist, and photographer, Joshua Aaron is first and foremost a queer black artist. He studied art education at Henderson State University until 2018. Much like one of his favorite artists, Carrie James Marshall, Joshua focuses on inclusion, more specifically the inclusion of queer people of color. As a queer artist in the South, he understands the importance of being seen and defines it as the first step towards inclusion. Ibrahim Nascimento is an international Afro-Brazilian artist from the historic city of Cachoeira, Bahia, Brazil. He has exhibited his work throughout Brazil and the United States. Ibrahim studied fine arts at the Federal University of Bahia. Ibrahim's artwork is rich with soul, culture, and tradition. His art is fundamentally embodied and thus with each brushstroke he shares a piece of his journey from his upbringing in Bahia to his migration to the United States. While Ibrahim's work is deeply connected to Brazil, he rediscovered himself in the Latinx and Black art communities of Houston. A native of Guerrero, Mexico, Isal Calguera has become a prominent figure in the Latino art community of Central Arkansas. Isaac is an oil painter focusing on realism and figurative art. Anna Zussman teaches drawing, illustration, and concept art at Southern Arkansas University. While Anna's background is in traditional media, particularly pen and ink, acrylic, and watercolor, she fell in love with digital media about two and a half years ago. With this particular piece, she used Metabang paint on her iPad Pro. Don Byram's piece is a one-shot photograph. It's a 15-second time-last exposure using a battery-powered LED light wand for the halo. Byron Taylor is an Arkansas native currently living and working in Little Rock. Byron's fascination with the figure began at an early age and has continued throughout his 40 plus year career. As an artist, he has painted, sculpted, and photographed the female figure, which continues to fuel his creative drive. A native of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Gian da Silva currently lives and works in Little Rock, Arkansas. Da Silva typically works with acrylics, 
but with this particular piece, he utilizes various media, including a thick resin finish, giving a unique depth to the piece. A past Grand Award winner of the Delta Exhibition, Sabrina Zarco currently lives and works in Playa de Tijuana, Mexico. Zarco sees herself as a visual storyteller. This particular piece by Zarco is an art quilt. An art quilt is an original exploration of a concept rather than the handing down of a pattern. Zarco often adds paint, embroidery, beadwork, buttons, seeds, found objects, basically anything she can attach or add to the work to further her story. Beatriz Parola is a lifelong New Yorker currently living in Queens. She is inspired by icons and folk art and religion and believes that repetitive iconography is both beautiful and accessible. This piece is hand embroidery measuring 10 and a half inches in diameter. Born and raised in Peru, Adriano Patruco's work is disciplined to the influence of early contemporary European Impressionism and the early 20th century Peruvian indigenous movement. This piece titled San Sebastián is a perfect example of Patruco's classical style. It is oil on canvas and is framed in a classical wooden frame. Grace Lytle is a collage artist that utilizes repurposed images sourced from vintage photographs, art textbooks, and fashion magazines to create hybridized and colorful compositions. Often referential to art history, her work is particularly inspired by the compositional language of early Christian and Byzantine art. Luis Atilano was born in the state of Michoacan, Mexico, and moved with his family to the United States at the age of two. He currently lives in central Arkansas with his wife and four children. He is a family man with a passion for mixed media art, pop art, and the Mexican culture. Karen Henderson is an Arkansas native currently residing in DeWitt, Arkansas. When creating this piece, Taryn had no idea of the pandemic that we as a nation would be facing. She notes that the timeliness of this show is interesting considering the history of St. Sebastian. While he is known as the patron saint of athletes and soldiers, he was also very present during multiple epidemics, especially during the Black Plague. Many consider him to be the saint of pestilence. She thought it would be fitting to title this piece, Deliver Them from Pestilence. An Arkansas native, Elisa Steinhelfer currently lives and works in Sherwood, Arkansas. She is heavily influenced by the human anatomy, romance, and Greek mythology. She finds inspiration in the idea that art lives beyond its creator and the idea that one can communicate emotions with imagery. An artist and dancer, Sergio Vadivia, uses his paintings to express his vibrant emotions and his rich Latino culture. Sergio, a native of Mexico, currently lives and works in Little Rock, Arkansas.